Hey guys, it's Paul here. I uh, want to share a bunch of dreams I had. Uh, oh, what a week. I'm telling you, what a week. Um, I don't know if what I'm going through has to do with the dreams I received. It would make sense that I'm under this crazy amount of spiritual attack, but aren't we all? So anyway, instead of complaining, let me share with you what I received. So this is all off the cuff. Last year, <clears throat> last week, I should say, I received a dream where I saw people running to hide under a mall. And when they were there, they thought they were safe. And these AI robots came in. So when I say AI robots, they were humans with a chip in their head. And they were being given commands by something. So that was dream number one. And I had three this morning. So, uh, one thing that's interesting is uh, because of how I've been feeling this week, I, uh, I don't know, I won't get into that. I've just been under the weather. A bunch of things happened. I had to stay home for three days. I went into a very, very big worship, worship session last night with God. And it was amazing. My whole body was on fire just the way it did when I received the Holy Spirit. It was amazing. And uh, I've gotten about a 50% healing just from that alone. And I don't know if that pleased God. I'm sure it did. So in all my worship, I said, uh, I feel good enough to continue with what you want me to do. So here's what happened this morning. So my first dream, before I share all these dreams, I just want you to know that I'm shown things in ways that I understand to turn around and share it. So it doesn't mean it's for me. I, I know when I'm supposed to put it out. So the first dream was me and my best friend. We decided to go on a biking trip for an hour at a time that was north of where I am. And everything I was shown was familiar to me, yet it wasn't anywhere I had ever been. So we arrived somewhere and everybody was setting up tents. And as I looked around everywhere, everybody thought their tent covering was sufficient. And he brought out a tent and he told me he bought it on sale. And it was this very, very large tent. It looked like a yurt, actually, but it had the rainbow colors. And I don't know if that means anything, but these people that think they're Christians think that their covering is good enough. And I said I had to go, so I left and I came back. So that was the end of the first dream. Now, I'll come back to the interpretation of that after. The second dream, this woke me up and I was actually scared. So I know what you're thinking. God doesn't give us the fear of God, but it wasn't, wasn't anything I saw in the dream. It was the feeling I felt. So this was another dream where everybody was hiding and people were, everybody was just insanely scared to move and be noticed. And I didn't see anything. I didn't see anybody after anybody. I just saw many people hiding with the highest level of fear. And I, I sat up and I woke up my wife saying, wow, what I just saw, there was so much fear in the air. So the more I think about it as the day went by, that was the feeling I felt was without the restrainer there without any Holy Spirit anywhere, that's what it's going to feel like. It's going to be terrifying. And then, oh yeah, I forgot this other dream. I forgot to say this. So I'm saying this backwards. I said dream one and three. So I'm going to say dream two now. Sorry, I'm saying it backwards here. But in the second dream, which I'm saying now is a third, uh, I saw... I saw, I was witnessing this in spirit. So I saw people I knew going to what looked like a university football game. And people were seeking desires and seeking, you know, feeling like they're part of a group. And I saw a few people I knew that in real life are broken. And I, when I say broken, I mean, nowadays they have addictions. And But in the dream, we were really young. Like I was witnessing old friends of mine from 30 years ago. And they were so trying so hard to fit in so then i left from that area and i arrived at this area that was a beautiful bachard garden it was beautiful it was a restaurant surrounded by hedges 
surrounded by flowers and people were having dinner everywhere. So I saw a couple of different um, waiters and I, I saw it represented by different people in my life. So one friend of mine was a waiter and, you know, he's a Latino, a background of Latino. And another friend of mine is, uh, he's, he's always trying to be even Steven and not offend everybody. And then the third person was a family member, a female family member. And she walked up and came directly to me and asked, where should I go? And I told her, make sure with every order you take them to the statue of Jesus. I don't know why I said that. So I went, uh, this was me coming back from a football stadium, seeing this. I, again, I, I was in witness mode. So I, I went away and I came back. So at the end of this evening, or this huge event, um, the people that were the most in line for the message from Jesus they were the happiest and everybody else in the restaurant was just so angry and they were trying to correct whoever I was witnessing through. They were saying it's not right that everybody's in line with her because we could have gave her better service. And, and it was all about, they were upset about service. So to go back now, the first dream about the tent coverings throughout this day, the Holy Spirit told me that this represents revivals going around right now that they think they're doing the right thing, but they're not. So I ain't going to touch that. You guys know the big one that I'm talking about. There's a lot of other Christians talking about it, possibly not being Holy Spirit filled. I wasn't there. I ain't going to say anything, but that's what I saw in a dream. A bunch of people had different tents and none of them had the Holy Spirit. Second dream was about an event, an upcoming event. Everybody was getting ready and it was shown to me in the form of a football game. Maybe somebody will know a little bit more about that. And the third one was the the service that people were going to eat food. The ones that went to Jesus, they were getting the bread of life. Do you understand? They were going there to receive the proper meal of God. And I'll leave it at that. And I really look forward to seeing what some people interpret in this because, uh, yeah, it's uh, been very interesting to see these kind of tribulation parts of the dreams. And there's a lot of people that think they're right with God and they think that they're Christians and they think that they're walking the proper way. And they're not. They're not. So I'm only sharing what God shows me. Because who am I to say something about somebody else when I'm a sinner? I love you guys. Jesus loves you more. I think something's around the corner and he wants everybody to show this to whoever you think needs to hear this. Bye guys. Please, if you don't mind throwing a prayer for my health, I would really appreciate that. Thanks. Bye-bye.